Hello again, Double Talk 73 here, the fisherman's friend. Today, what I'm going to try to do is show you how to make it easier <laughs> when you catch big beluga instead of bringing the fish to you. You can go to the fish when you're fishing off the boat dock, and there are big beluga out there. So, let's see, do this, and what I'm going to be using is my bottom rods, the Heavy Chaser 10 2, Leviathan 1000 reel, uh, Braid 01, which is 57 pound line, a monoliter 0.02, there we go, it's rated at 43 pounds, a 7 aught hook and large cut bait, and a default leader. Okay. All four of them are set up exactly the same. Got bells just uh, help this uh, old brain. <laughs> so, so that's that's what we got. Okay, we're going to be fishing uh, starting on the boat dock, and uh, well, you'll see what I'm talking about as we go. Okay, first of all, we got to go fishing. We gotta get, oh, we want to be on a sunny morning. That's the reason for it. I want to hopefully I want to catch a big beluga so I can show you how this works. So we're going to walk out on the pier. This is a little bit of a glitch that's uh, fun to use in your benefit. And uh, start the motor. It's fixing to get loud. I'm sorry about that. I'll try not to run up too fast. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to a set of reeds. It doesn't matter which one. But the idea is to aim into the reeds. Uh, if you can drive the boat. Okay. And just before you get into the reeds. You stop, okay. I stop by using an anchor. You can that stops it. Okay, we're gonna start the motor again, and we're gonna drive in. Okay. Now I want to get out. I want to go ashore. Okay. Now I'm ashore. Now not only am I ashore, but you see I'm in the water. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go back to the boat dock. Now here you need to be careful. When you, you're going to go around the boat dock, the pier, and you want to do it slow and easy. So you go just around the end. Okay. And you come up here. And you turn around. And I back up. Uh, you do whatever you want. And we're going to put our rod holder down right there. In the water. Bingo. Okay. And we're going to cast your rods out. See now where I'm going to aim. And I'm right out in here. In this area. Just maximum cast. That's where the belugas are. I'm going to get rid of this. Sorry, people. No no offense intended. Okay. One. Two. Now, if you mess, I'll show you. If you mess up, you can get back to this point pretty easy. If you mess up completely, you just take your boat. Push it back into the reeds, and just before you go into the reeds, you stop and drive on in and get out of your boat, and you'll be in the water. Now, I caught a 117 pound beluga a while ago, and 111, I believe it was, Wells catfish this way. And what I did was I just, well, you'll see. I hopefully, hope we catch something. 
but you can walk out to the fish and thereby reel it in a whole lot faster than trying you know, your rod bouncing up and down and everything and trying to fish out fish in fish out fish in do it this way <coughs> sorry had some peanuts and walk to the fish now I started at five o'clock so it's gonna be close to six should be before we get our starts getting strikes but I want to have enough time to show you how to get to this point without having to rush 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 to try to catch fish now if you all watched any of my other videos you know that after about seven eight nine minutes of game time I like to reset my rods and reels, my bait. I don't know. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So, I think I'm going to bring them all in. Now nah, it won't matter. Let's say re aim my rod holder. It doesn't matter. Oh, I hear one. Now, you know how to tell. When you've got a big fish on. Number three. Okay, we got a big fish on. See how it barely wants to come in? Okay. Now I'm I'm walking. Press my walk button, or my W button, and my shift button, and I'm walking towards me. This is probably a big beluga. You see how much faster I'm bringing it in? <laughs> Uh, things like this I like. Yeah, I'd fight and fight and fight and fight this thing if I stayed on shore. And I'd get it in a little bit at a time. There it is. Now see what I can do. I can get there. I'm holding my right mouse button down. Which is my rod up. And I'll just... See there? That's a big fish. So let's walk back over there to it. Okay. Walk over to it. Bang. There it is. 85 pounds. Okay, got to release it. Okay, see where I am? Okay. If you bring the fish all the way in. Now. No problem. See where the rod holder is? I want to get this line back out. So all I got to do is pick up, a, pick up one of the other lines. One of the other rods. Okay, and that puts me back down in the water. Number three is the one I was fishing with, so we'll throw it back out there. Now see, that was a whole lot faster than being on the shore, because I've fought some of the big belugas, I know, for 35 and 40 minutes game time with this rig. And it'd be a 127, 125 pound beluga. But by doing it this way, you go to the fish. Instead of making the fish come to you. And it's faster. Which gives you more fishing time. We'll hopefully catch one more, hopefully, while I'm talking. But anyhow. Uh, that's that's it in a nutshell. Uh, oh, one more thing I want to show you. If you mess up, and I want you to watch right out in here when I do this, and you watch what the boat does. The boat's going to be going to flip over and come over in this area. It's hilarious. Okay, let's see what we can do. See if I can make it do it. Now I don't want to do it. That's funny. So won't let me walk up on the shore. Okay. 
can we pick up a rod? Whoa! Down underwater, way down under. Let's pick up number one. Okay. We'll read it all the way in. And it should do. Now keep your eye on the, the middle of the screen. Hopefully, that's what I want to do. Of course, it's not going to just because I want it to. <laughs> oh, here's another thing. Right down here is where I parked the boat. Right here, or right here. No boat. It's not there. Oh, me. Then lost my boat. It's nowhere to be seen. Oh, mercy. Oh, got a fish coming here. Numbers are four. You gonna let me pick up the rod? It wasn't gonna let me pick up the rod now. Let me catch this one out. <sighs> you know what they say, best laid plans of mice and men have to gain a glee. another bite here in a minute or so. Okay, here number two. <laughs> and that, I would imagine that's my buddy Lurus. He's the one that showed me this. Okay, we're going to walk out there. That's a smaller wells. We'll still walk out to it. See how much faster? See how much it's almost like reeling it with nothing on. It's about 11, 12 pound wells. Thirteen. Okay. Did you see the boat? Did you see it? Now a lot of times. Let's see. Let's walk out here. Now, a lot of times, it's not what I want, this what I want. When that boat comes from over there by the, the uh, reeds over this way, it comes over and flips over and gets over there. See, it's not anywhere near the, the, the dock, or the pier. I don't think you can get in it from there. It says you can, but anyhow, uh, that's it. That's just just another way of having a little, you know, I like to find different ways of having fun with a game. That's just another one. See, I'm up. It won't let me down there. All you got to do is, whoops, get up on the pier. If you can walk and guide on the pier. Walk on the pier. Pick up a rod. you back down in the water again. Is that not cool? Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. While you, If you like it, uh, this will make 146 reels I've got. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, subscribe. Uh, tight lines. Good luck. Let's see what we got here. Yep, got us a fish. <clears throat> oh, we had a fish. I waited too long. Okay, tie lines, good luck. God bless you and your families. And uh, just another way to have some fun. So if you find me in a game, ask me any question, I'll be 
more than happy to answer and if I can help you I will uh, if I don't know I'll let you know that too and I'll, I'll try to answer or try to find out an answer for you do a little research for you or if I have a video they'll answer your question I'll uh, get you the URL so you can go there and, and watch the video and a lot of times it's easier to watch what I've done than, than try to explain it um, so that's about it so I'll catch you later uh, y'all come back now you're here and, and thanks again for watching go ahead and subscribe